But what's the scene like? Well, Tyler, as you can see right over my shoulder, it's pretty dark and stormy here in Kennedy Space Center. The air is really, really thick, just to give you a sense of the weather as the thunderstorms, but it's also thick just because of the amount of tension that you can feel in the air. We're talking about a launch that represents really the future of private or commercial space flight. If this succeeds, NASA and SpaceX hope that this opens up the doors to SpaceX launching not just NASA astronauts, but even private astronauts beyond that. So that's a lot of what's at stake right now. But as you can see, we're dealing with quite a bit of weather here. Uh, so we're hoping things still go off on time as they're scheduled to launch at 4.33 p.m. Eastern. What is there? Do you happen to know what their launch window is? In other words, what are the probabilities that they go off on time? And then do they have a, a, a period of a couple of hours where they could launch? Well, this isn't what they call an instantaneous launch window. So it has to go right on the dot at 4.33 p.m. because of the orbital mechanics involved of the spacecraft reaching the International Space Station. You have basically one object that has to catch up to another object in space. So if they can't launch at that time, they have to scrub, postpone the launch, and go for either Saturday or Sunday. I asked you a question. I was hoping you had the answer. You did. Michael Sheets, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Tyler.